Hi, my name is Emily Callender, and I'm the director of Paid Social and Display. I'm going to take you through some of the highlights of why paid social should be important to you. We all know that this is a vast world with plenty of opportunity, so I want to talk to you about some fun facts of why you should be advertising there. First, 7 out of 10 Americans use a social network. This can be anything from Pinterest to Snapchat to Facebook to Instagram. We know we have a wide reach here and are reaching users of all ages and different types of demographics. 70% of people 18 to 65 use social media. That means this is your key target market. Let's hit them where they're at. Next, 67% of users are using stories to learn about products. This is a great way to focus in on what's really important to your brand. So think about your products, tell them why it's important and why they should be shopping there. Lastly, there are over 125 million users on Instagram expected by the year 2023. Keep focusing your advertising efforts here as that's where people are going to engage with brands and find out more about products that are useful for them. Next, I wanna talk a little bit about user engagement on social media apps. Users 18 to 44 are spending on average over two hours per day on social networks. That is imperative to why you should be in front of them while they're spending time on this app. They're there a lot and that time is only increasing. Next, I'm going to take you through the best practice account structure for Facebook. So it's broken out into three tiers. The first one is going to be your campaign level, followed by your ad set level, followed by the ad level. Starting at the campaign level, this is really going to be your house for the rest of the ad account structure. So the campaign is really just setting up the objective and telling us what we're about to do. We're also starting to see the budget management shift towards this area. That's going to be coming in early 2020. But for now, we're focusing this on the ad set level, a little bit in the campaign level. Last, let's focus in on the ad level. In the ad set level, we are able to tell Facebook where we want these ads to run. So at the ad level, we're setting up the imagery, the copy, and the landing pages. This will help align it internally for wherever that ad is going to serve so that it's served in the right format. Next, I'm going to talk to you about the top creative examples that we should be using. The first one, and the quickest growing, is going to be Instagram and Facebook Stories. This is a great place to get your video and static creative out there, and this is the top growing placement for both Facebook and Instagram. The next is going to be instant experiences. This is where you're going to see collection ads and things of that nature. It's a great place to highlight your video creative and then align the products within that video to show users what they should be shopping. The next is a carousel ad unit. You'll see a great example on the screen of a yellow shoe. Some clients really like to have fun with these. Other clients like to focus a single image within each pane. However, you could use it to segment out a product and show the product extending across each unit as a story of that product. The next creative is a dynamic unit, and this is pulled from the feed, so it shows users specifically what they've looked at on site or top or most similar products. The next one and something that you were most familiar with is image ads. This is a static image on the screen that a user can see either something that resembles your brand or product. The last and something we really want to focus on are video ads. Don't be afraid of video. And at Facebook, they make it very easy for us to highlight video ads in unique ways. I do want to highlight that video is and will remain king for this foreseeable future. 95% of viewers say that they remember a product or brand better when it's been viewed on a video. So don't be afraid to engage with your users in a video format. So something to remember is not being afraid of the mix. These are static assets that have lightweight motion applied to them to create a video-like content. There was a 17% increase in conversion rate for advertisers that mixed in lightweight motion with image ads into their Facebook advertising. So don't be afraid to mix it in. The last big thing I want to talk about is an in-app shopping experience on Facebook and Instagram. This is an end-to-end -end shopping experience. So when a user sees an ad and they click on that product, they're actually able to check out within that app. It's really exciting for us and going to take some weight off of some of the performance issues we were talking about on the website. This is a limited release right now, but we're expected a more full rollout in 2020. My name is Matt Freeman, and I'm the paid search manager here at Blue Moon. This shouldn't be a surprise to anyone, but mobile is now spending twice as much as desktop. Paid search is driving 25% of overall e-commerce revenue, which is up 6% year over year and will continue to grow in 2019 and into 2020. Paid ads are taking up more real estate than ever before which is all the more reason to be as competitive as possible and be at the top of each SERP. Testing is a huge factor in order to drive success here at Blue Moon. Within paid search, we test keywords, landing pages, and bids, all to drive the most revenue and create the most efficiency within the account. Shopping allows brands to differentiate ads with meaningful information. You can do things like promote special offers, product ratings, and even drive users in-store. Google has a couple of new features that they've recently rolled out that are changing the overall landscape of Google advertising. Discovery ads allow advertisers to use imagery to personalize messages to users. Advertisers will now be able to show an image that's directly related to a user's search. 
Google is now rolling out gallery ads, which will allow a user to swipe through multiple images. Google is adding shopping actions, which will make online shopping easier than ever by adding a one-click or a buy now feature. My name is Cassie Schultz. I'm the manager of digital strategy and partnerships at Blue Moon Digital. Here's a little introduction to display as a channel and how it's so hyper relevant to what we're talking about in terms of holiday. Right now, we know that display spend is on the rise. $81 billion will be spent in programmatic display by 2021. So again, if you're not in front of all of those customers, your competitors might be. So let's make sure that you're in the programmatic space, you're targeting audiences, you're super relevant to anybody who could discover your brand using display as a mechanism. A lot of times in a typical display path, we can see um, a linear type of approach. So we might see audience creation, so we figure out, okay, we wanna target, let's say a skincare enthusiast. And then we prospect the skincare enthusiast throughout the internet. We drive them to our homepage and we retarget them. Then hopefully we push them down the funnel and they purchase, hooray, it's amazing. The problem with that approach is that the customer journey isn't linear. And so while in some environments it would work to just prospect and then retarget and then hopefully convert, we have to understand that throughout your customer's day, she's being targeted all over the place by all types of channels, not just through display or search. And so as she's waking up in the morning and she's having her coffee, she's reading the news, let's target those new sites with video. Maybe she can discover something new about your brand as she's searching for stores near me, make sure that you have a search strategy that has keywords involved for people who are looking at local intent searches so that you can retarget her with something really relevant to what she's looking for at the time. And it keeps intersecting throughout, so make sure that at various points in that journey, you are talking to her at each stage. Let's say you show a video and she's only looking at the first half. You should talk to her differently than someone who completes your video or expands on full screen. So make sure there's different messaging for those types of people that can go all through that journey since it's not necessarily A to B to C anymore. The beauty of display is that it's everywhere. So we have websites and categories that can serve display banners. You can get hyper local with maps and click to map functionality. You can have video. You can have native so that your customer thinks that they're reading content and it feels really organic to the sites that they're reading and it engages them in a matter that's really relevant to them. And relevant is so important in holiday especially because as we have more Gen Z and more Gen Y shopping, we want to make sure that these messages matter to them so we can reach them in all, in all types of formats. So things like streaming radio and connected TV are going to become more and more relevant and display is a vehicle to connect to your audience in those ways. Make sure as you're going through any display program that you're using sequential and compelling content. I mentioned before that you should treat the 50% viewer differently than the 100% viewer. And so make sure as you're creating your creative strategy around that, that you have different assets for those different pivot points throughout the customer journey. So if she is somebody that's really actively engaged and loyal to your brand, give her something that really matters to her. Maybe send her an email with a supplemental display retargeting campaign. If she's somebody that's just discovering your brand, maybe we give her some how-to videos or some compelling um, review videos that really engage her and tell her about how your brand is so relevant to her life. Video is something that we cannot emphasize enough. We often think of display as banners and kind of a, an old school direct buy strategy. It is definitely not that. Video is one of our best tools for getting in front of your audience. We know that over 40% of shoppers globally say that they have discovered their products on YouTube and actually purchased. 90%, as I mentioned before, have actually discovered a new brand on YouTube. So we have to absolutely have a strategy on video and you have to have an answer to that or else you're gonna be left behind by other brands who are. Targeting is an important piece in display because it's so contextually relevant to your user. So we can look at things like demographic targeting, contextual targeting, looking at websites that are around topics that your user might be um, searching for. You can look at different um, placements like whitelists and blacklists. You can use your own first party segments to create very focused and tailored segments. So for example, your top customer lifetime value that segment can be one of your biggest money drivers and we can use display as a vehicle for reaching that user. And then third party lists enable us to get really specific to holiday in particular or to the type of product or service that you sell. So things like skincare or apparel are such easy wins for us to be able to target third party lists that we know are clean, that we know are really important to the shopper. One thing that we are always mentioning here is dynamic creative optimizations. So have a few iterations of your creatives ready to go so that 
at each trigger point, the creative can change. So let's say I reach the homepage. You're gonna message me with something different than if I reach the cart. Um, if I am a person who indicates an interest in camping, you're gonna reach me differently than someone who is interested in recycling. When a message matters, especially for millennials and Gen Zers, it's going to resonate so much more and be so much more likely to drive the desired result. And one of the coolest things about display is that it helps its friends. So I mentioned that customer journey and how it overlaps. Display is a really great way to re-engage and introduce. It's like the nicest girl at your sorority. That's what Display is. She introduces you to a new brand that maybe you didn't know about, and she reintroduces people to your brand. Like I said, the customer journey isn't linear, and Display is a really important part of that. So make sure that you have a video strategy and a mobile strategy, a designated creative strategy for all of those segments, and we can make sure that your holiday season is the best one it's ever been.